<laughs> Back with another video. We got four true scary stories with footage. Damn! Not animated. This with actual footage. This most likely will make me jump out of my seat, man. It's real life stuff. Hold on, I ain't heard. Hold on, hold on. Welcome back to the channel, KB 2.0. <laughs> I almost forgot it, man. Man, I almost forgot it. Don't knock me. Don't knock me. We're going to get into this video. But first, I'm going to need you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Hit up all my social medias down below in the description. The original video is down below in the description if you don't want to watch my reaction. And I respect that. Comment down below more videos you want me to watch. Oh my god. Simple instruction. I'm about to start going live, streaming, gaming. I'm here. We're going to get into this. I might jump out of my seat. Let's find out. <laughs> See? I live in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It was a Tuesday night. I was laying on my bed trying to get some sleep. I laid there for about three hours until I decided to get up and take a walk around my neighborhood just to clear my head. It was two in the morning. I was walking down the street when I remembered there is an abandoned building in our neighborhood. I decided to visit it. People say that this building is haunted and I've always wanted to see what's inside of it. The building itself looked really creepy. Broken windows, a huge metal door which said no entry with red paint. As an 18-year-old college student, I wanted to be adventurous. I climbed through one of the broken windows and got inside the building. I took out my phone and started to record so I could show off in front of my friends. Just to let you guys know, my phone works completely. Already. Great story. He, he always got the stories, man. I went into a abandoned house before. It was a scary situation, obviously, and he doing it at night. I did it in the daytime, but he doing it at night, man. You don't know who you find a hobo in there, whatever. Just come out of nowhere. Because it's an abandoned house. You expect it to be abandoned, right? Wow. But it's not. It's somebody in there. Somebody in there waiting for you. Waiting for you, man. You, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, but I mean, that's a scary situation. Let's find out what happened to him, though. We fine. There's no problem with it. The place was really dark. The only source of light in that building was from my phone. It took me a couple of seconds to realize I was inside a small room. I walked out the door into the hallway. It was an apartment. I was doing commentary while recording to make it look cool. I got out of the apartment and into the main hall of the building. Here's a picture of the main hall. On the left side of the elevator, there's a small passageway which leads to a really small room under the stairs, as seen in this picture. I went there to investigate. When I got close to the room, I heard a clicking noise from the first door. I was frozen for a split second. I walked back to the main hall still recording. Then I heard a loud sound of metal dropping on concrete. I almost crapped my pants. I wanted to get the hell out of there, but something inside me told me to go upstairs and find out what it was. I started walking up the stairs as slowly as I could. I don't even know what I was expecting to see up there. I got to the first floor. As usual, it was dark, but it got colder. This event took place in the middle of August, so it was hot outside. I'm into paranormal stuff, and when I suddenly felt cold, I firmly believe- Hold on. I just hit my mic. I apologize. But, um... I love I love Mr. Nightmare stories. I like them. I like his stories. But where's the footage? I'm trying to get scared. I want to see what you're talking about. Like when you said I heard a loud bang, you supposed to bang. Hold on, pause. You supposed to make a loud noise in my ear. I'm supposed to jump right there. I, I was expecting it too. He trying to set me up. Towards the end, he gonna do something crazy. Watch. I have a feeling. But we gonna get back into this. Hopefully he actually showed the footage of this encounter and then go into the next story. But I don't know. We'll find out. I believe something was going on here. I should have turned back, but I still wanted to see where that sound came from. There were four apartments on each floor. 
I investigated all four of them and saw nothing. A chill ran down my spine when I realized the whole second floor and the ground floor were covered in sand. There was no concrete and no sign of anything metal. The cold temperature on the floor and the fact that I was alone gave me the chills. I hurried down the stairs, made my way back to the apartment, climbed out through the window, and ran back to my home. When I got home, I drank gallons of water, calmed myself down, and took out my phone. I wanted to hear that sound again, so I played the video. To my horror, the audio on the video was messed up. My commentary wasn't there at all. Like I said earlier, there's no problem with my phone. It works fine. I didn't get any sleep that night. I told my friends about it, and they told me that it was really stupid to go inside that building alone. I didn't delete the video. I decided to keep it as a memory. Fast forward to December. I was going through my gallery, and I came across that video. I decided to play it. I fast forwarded to the part where I heard the sound, and surprisingly, that sound is clearly heard in the video. I don't know how it could be heard clearly, but here's a small clip from the video. I got goosebumps and closed my phone. I promised myself oh. not to go near that building ever again. I thought it would be louder, but I I I would have left right after that. I wouldn't have investigated that noise. I'd have been like, oh, let me start out by saying out. I was a believer of the parent. That's a decent little. I would have been like, it's a decent little abandoned house, man. Soon I'd have heard that noise. Click. Nope. I'm not going up there. I'm 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 out. I'm out completely. I got I got the footage I needed. I heard the noise. I got it in the footage. Boom. I'm gone. It's supposed to be an abandoned house or what was it? Uh, uh, it looked like a school from the video, but it's supposed to be abandoned. Like who's in there? Obviously, it's somebody in there probably trying to sleep, and they like, what's that noise that says? They got up, something fell off of them, whatever. I don't want to know. I don't care to know. I'm gone. I don't, I'm gone. Paranormal until this night. I was with four buddies. I won't list any names for safety reasons. We went to hang out and talk in an old, supposedly haunted trailer late at night. The owner and multiple people who lived there all told me that it was haunted by demons, and me being the new guy to the group, I needed to be initiated. This initiation consisted of walking into the haunted back room. I did as they said after they convinced me, and walked in and then quickly ran out. My friends thought it was hilarious and went to prove to me that it was all not real. I went behind them to record them and see if we could get any proof of the demon. My friend went to open the closet, and that's when I got spooked by a loud audible crash in the closet and ran away. My friend thought it was hilarious, and after more convincing, dragged me back inside the house to record him. My buddy and I got outside of the trailer to rewatch our footage, and what we caught scared me beyond belief. Dude, I just heard shit in the closet. Yo, 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 bro. Oh, fuck! No, I'm out. <laughs> no, no, I don't care. No, no. What was it? What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, fuck me, fuck. Is this. Nah, I don't. I don't know. Who opened that door? I didn't see no hand, but I'm pretty sure it's probably it's probably his friend playing around. It's, this is probably a stage video, right? It's probably a stage video, most likely. It's probably a stage video. Whoever opened that door when he walked up to it or whatever, banging on the door when he knocked, and then that little scratching noise when they first started the video or whatever, it's it, it most likely staged. But come on, man. If this is real, and like we the only two in here, and you do that in that, and, and somebody's actually in that closet or whatever happens, no. No, buddy. You're not convincing me to come back in that house at all. Come on, man. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. If nothing, something that's nothing can't make a noise like that. No, buddy. Fuck. Look at video. Chase, Chase, Chase. Look at this. Dude, I saw it. Fuck me. Fuck. Get the hell out of there, dude. The closet opening and closing, 
loud knocking and windows being tapped on, all the while I captured orbs outside of the room. While I was outside waiting for my friends to come back out, I heard the trash cans rattle and immediately called my friends out. We didn't see them move, but a little later on we had things thrown at us from an unknown place. I had a live bullet tossed into my leg, and one more land inches away from my buddy's leg. I have it on video. You were making that shit. Wait, if you're there, then who's throwing shit? Huh? I just came back from smoking with Roy. Yeah. They just passed by, I took a hit, and they kept walking. We have actual fucking proof of that ghost. Eventually, we went to get out after I practically dragged my friend into the car, only to have our car alarm go off as we opened the car door. When we got home, my buddy showered and said his back hurt, and when I checked, I saw he had multiple scratches up and down his back, as you can see in this image. He possessed. They grabbed him. They caught him. Okay, okay. Let's get it. It was a normal evening. My best friend and I decided to go for a walk. It was around 10 o'clock in the evening, so it was as dark out as it was going to get. Where is this at? Never seen that in the street before. Never seen that in the street before. Comment down below you think where this at. I don't know. I never seen two pretty best friends. It ain't even no crosswalk. It's just somebody die there holding hands with somebody. They chalk outline. What was that? I live in a small village, so we usually just walk around the streets. There weren't many people out at this hour. We were kind of just walking and talking. A little while into our walk, we started to head home. We went up some hill, which led to the little town area and the only store we had in our village. But as soon as we came up the hill, we saw a weird looking figure in the distance. It looked like an abnormally tall woman covered in a sheet of some sort, and it had its neck tied with a string or a rope. This is the video we took of the figure. Honestly, she, it reminded us like of the she movie The Nun. She looked like she waddling towards y'all. Well, why? I mean, it's probably fake, but it's still creepy. It's this late at, I don't know what time at night, but it looked, the lights is out, the uh, street lights is on, the night, it's night skies, and you're in the street doing this, waddling back and forth. And it looked like y'all coming, she coming towards y'all. Come on, y'all, what? What? It was really hard to see since it was totally dark and the street lights weren't exactly the brightest. It was moving very slowly and it was waddling left and right like it was drunk or injured or something. Yeah. We couldn't figure out if it was walking our way or not because it was moving so slowly. It was a really disturbing sight at that moment at that hour of the night. After half a minute of standing there, we realized it was walking towards us. We ran as fast as we could when we realized it didn't even have a visible face or just anything to take note of specifically. We walked around to go home, hoping we wouldn't see With her this again, camera, no. we thought we would, because if we calculated it right, we would meet again on one intersecting street, but luckily we didn't. The next day I told my friend about what happened, and she told me she also saw her, or it, while she was driving with her sister past the bar which is on the street we thought we would see her again. She moved slower than us, and I really don't know how we missed her, but luckily we did. My friend described the figure just as horrifically as it appeared from the distance to us that night, and since that night, we never saw her again. I don't want to get possessed after watching videos like this. That's why I stuck with animated videos. But I'm here for the bull. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I still want to jump out my seat. It wasn't enough jump scares, but the stories was crazy. I hope you like that reaction. I like the video, but I always, I like all Mr. Uh, Nightmares content. He got decent little scary videos over there. And well, scary story time, like some better than others, but I like the stories he be telling. Obviously they not his, he just telling other people's stories from their perspective, but I like the stories. I like the way he tell them anyway. But I hope you liked the uh, reaction. Subscribe to the channel if you did. 
like the video if you did hit the like button hit the notification bell more videos to come comment down below more videos you want me to watch and suggest me to watch suggest some games you want me to uh, want to see on the channel let me know and i got you but i'm gonna get on out of here man kb2.0 out <laughs>